What's up guys, it's Red Cruz here and welcome back to a new video on the channel and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can officially like make your own thumbnails and how you guys can set it using Android. Um, for this you guys will need a couple apps which is Pixel App and Photoshop Touch. If you guys don't have Photoshop Touch, I'll put a link in the description where you guys can download it and you guys will also need YouTube Studio or Creator Studio, the app. But I just want to let you guys know that I did record a vlog, which I'm going to upload later to the channel when I went to Las Vegas. It was amazing out there, and I know you guys will really like the vlog. But anyway, I would very appreciate if you guys would show that you, uh, that video some love. I'm also going to upload it to my other my vlog channel as well. Basically, the reason why I'm going to upload it to this channel to let you guys know that I'm also doing vlogs as well. But for this, you guys want to start off with Google Chrome. Open up Google Chrome or your uh, old. Once you guys have opened up Google Chrome, now what you guys will need to go do. Once you guys have opened up Google Chrome, now what you guys will need to do is simply go to Google Images. And once you are here, now what you guys will need to do is simply type in thumbnail background. Uh, you guys can also make your own backgrounds if you guys want, but for me, this is like an easier way of making thumbnails. So. Um, and as you guys can see at the top, you guys will see blue, green, red, light blue, purple, and stuff. So let's say if I wanted a blue one. And as you guys can see, you guys will get a bunch of blue texture backgrounds and stuff that you guys can use for your thumbnails. So for this one, I really like this one. This one's actually pretty nice. So what you guys want to do is simply just hold on it and download the image and just download it. Once it has download, and I'll see you guys in Pixel Lab. Once you guys are in Pixel Lab, now what you guys will need to do is simply start off with the new text. And now what you guys will need to do is simply come over to these little squares at the bottom right here. And then what you guys will need to do is put the background transparent. And now what you guys have done, actually, before you guys do do that, I suggest that you guys, um, actually, I'm just going to start all over. Before you guys do do that, I would suggest you guys start off with the, the text first. So what you guys want to do is simply tap on this A and just tap on edit. And I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to do this thumbnail I'm going to do for this video. So now what you guys would need to do is simply type in how to make in all capitals. Once you guys have done that, you guys will get this. Now what you guys would need to do is simply go into size, increase the size just a bit. And before you guys increase the size, find the font, which the font is right here. And the font I like using is simply in my in my fonts. And I like using Plump. Plump is the font I think is really great for thumbnails. And I prefer it. It's actually really it's actually a really good thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail font from to me. Um, you guys can use it, but you guys can easily download the font. If you guys don't know how to install your own fonts, again, I'll link the link in the description so you guys can find it and figure out how to do that. But once you guys have selected your font, now what you guys will need to do is press OK and simply drag this up to the top. And then once you guys have done that, go into inner uh, shadow and do not enable the shadow. Go into inner shadow, enable the, uh, the inner shadow and put it up to nine. Once you guys have done that, simply now what you guys will need to do, it's simply, um, where's that? You guys will need to go to shadow. Yeah, go to shadow. And enable the shadow and as you guys can see you guys will get that and then what you guys have done that oh never mind <laughs> wrong one my bad guys but once you guys have done it you guys want to go to stroke enable the stroke and once you guys are here and put it up to nine or ten uh i suggest like around like that yeah eight and once you guys have done that you guys will get this and now what you guys will need to do um i'm just gonna go on ahead and bring down that inner shadow just a bit just probably at seven. Yeah, keep it at seven. That looks nice. And as you guys can see, you guys will get that nice, like slim, like a 2D, 3D ish look on the text. So now what you guys will need to do is simply go ahead and tap this three bars up at the top. Oops, my bad. You want to tap this plus sign up at the top and go to text. And what you guys are uh, in text, you guys will need to do is just simply tap on this and type type thumbnail really big and that's all you guys will need to do and this time what you guys will need to do is simply so now what you guys will need to do is simply do the same thing and i'm just going to cut this part out now what you guys will need to do is increase the size which is right here i'm increase the size and as you guys can see 
you guys will see this and now what you guys will need to do is simply just uh, go to rotate kind of tilt it just a bit so that it, it cannot actually like the thumbnail and now what you guys will need to do is simply go into the color and since the background that I chose the color is going to be blue so I'm going to go to color and you guys can choose gradient if you guys want and there goes the gradient text and you guys can also edit the text I mean edit the gradient by pressing this, bu uh, this plus sign and double tapping on double tap not double tapping but you know simple as that you guys can easily just press this uh, plus sign that tap on the ones that you guys want and as you guys can see you guys will see this a little this little uh, like little drip drip block thing right here <laughs> I can't really explain it but you guys can easily tap on that you guys can make your own colors any color that you guys like which is very simple but for now I'm just gonna use a simple color which is a blue color um, I honestly prefer like a bluish like a dead bluish like that um exactly like that and now what you guys will need to do is simply is simply add a new tech you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do is just kind of line it up the way you like and I kind of like it that way um, I'm just gonna tilt this a little bit more to the left actually more to the right yeah um, what you guys have done now, I'm gonna do the same here I'm gonna take this one to more to the right as well and now what you guys have done that simply just press the check mark and simply press the save button and save as image or wait huh before you guys do that make sure you guys actually tap on these uh, boxes down here and add a transparent background and once you guys have done that just simply save it again and I'll see you guys in Photoshop touch once you guys have opened up Photoshop touch now what you guys will need to do is simply press this plus bottom uh, this plus sign at the bottom and for the width you guys want to put 10 uh, 10 uh, 12 uh, 1280p my bad you guys want to put a 1280p and for the height you guys want to put 720p I keep saying P at the end I don't know why I'm guess I'm used to <laughs> the game but anyways what you guys now we need to do is simply find your background and I'll be right back once I found it. you guys have found your uh, background as you guys can see you guys can move it to whatever you guys like and I kind of like it right there so I'm just gonna press uh, check mark and now what you guys we need to do is simply add in another one and go into your pixel lab folder which is all the way in here so I'm gonna do that real quick so once you guys are here now what you guys will need to do as you guys can see you guys can see all that and now what you guys will need to do is simply add it now what you guys have done that you guys can make it the way you guys want you guys can tilt it if you guys like and um, increase the size if you guys like which I'm gonna do right here so now what you guys have done is simply press the check mark and this is what I like to do on all of my text you guys don't have to do this this is optional but what you guys want to um, what you guys want to do is simply well what I what I do is I go to FX and I go to drop shadow and I crease the drop shadow just a bit to where it's like you guys can see the shadow in the back and I press the check mark and I go to the end sign I tap on the background and I go into the end sign and I go to gradient and you guys will see that little gradient the darkness right there the more I zoom in the more I take it out this is more optional you guys can do this if you guys like but I'm gonna keep it right there. But now what you guys will need to do is simply go into Google Chrome and find any emojis that you guys want. Um, for me, I got three emojis that I downloaded and I really do like these uh, emojis. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these up. All right, so as you guys can see now that I have got my emoji right here. And what I like to do is simply just low, uh, make it smaller. Actually, not that small, but I'm, I'll make it bigger. And I'll put it in the corner and I'll tilt it just a bit, just like that. And once you guys have done that, I also like to add a drop shadow to this back as well. So I'm going to do that right there. Just so it would look like a more 3D-ish look, I guess you can say. And so now what you guys will need to do is add, it, um, grab another one, another emoji, which I'm going to do right here. As you guys can see, I got my other one right here. I really do like this one. Um... It's really nice. I really like this emoji. I even use it when I'm texting. But anyways, I like this. So now I use, I usually do the same thing. Um, I tilt it, you know, as usual. And I will do the same thing as I go in and I drop a drop. Go ahead and do a drop shadow as well on this one. And so now that's pretty much it. 
um you guys can easily grab you a third one um a third one and put it like in the middle or so but that's how i make my thumbnails and stuff uh, one of my subscribers asked me in the description and stuff like that and also i'm going to show you guys how to um how to set it in a minute so before i do that uh, i just want to let you guys know that i am going to continue uh, gameplays and stuff, but I know I haven't uploaded a gameplay in a while, so just stay tuned with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the Creator Studio app. Once you guys have opened up your um your Creator Studio app, now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on a video that you guys like. Which this one, I really edit this video really good, and I really uh, enjoyed it myself when I watched this. But uh, now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this pencil up at the top. And as you guys can see, you guys will see basic info, monetization, and event settings. And once you guys have done that, oops, my bad. Once you guys have done that, you guys want to go to edit thumbnail. Once you guys are in edit thumbnail, you guys want to choose custom thumbnail. And as you guys can see, you guys will see a bunch as also like before anyone gets confused and stuff. But look, this is the this is the thumbnail that I did for my parkour that I'm going to upload very soon. By the way, guys, I forgot to I forgot to say this, but what you get in order to save it, you guys will need to press this little share button about the top and go to save to gallery and tap on this. Go to PNG and tap on the photo and press OK. And then I'll see you guys in Creator Studio. But once you guys are here now, what you guys need to do is go to change custom thumbnail. And now once you guys have done that, you guys can see all Adobe Photoshop touch. And now what you guys need to do is tap on the first one. And as you guys can see, you guys got your very own thumbnail. And that's how you guys set it and stuff. I'm not going to set it because this thumbnail does not, you know, go with the video or anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay on the lookout because I am going to be uploading a new gameplay in the vlog. Not today, but probably tomorrow and later in the future so uh stay up for that but if you guys want any other video that you guys want to want me to make comment down below very much appreciate it but i love you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if this did help you guys out please give the video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys tomorrow Peace.